when you enter the floor. You have the floor. Well, this is um, coming back to the father. My father already left, my mother and father left me so long, last 50 years. But coming back to this, to the father, it's really happy and honor to be here with you today. 51 years ago, my father and my mother decided this building for our future in West Papua. That's a 51 years ago. 51 years later, come back, son, come back to the, this building again. So it's be honor to be here with you. Uh, I welcome you all on behalf of people of West Papua, all the uh, guests and speaker, especially I acknowledge uh, Mr. Fanta G, uh, Reform Political Party, and Mr. Father Win MP, Christian Union Party, you, Bihara people of West Papua, and all uh, committee who are organized, especially Free West Papua Campaign and L to organize this event. And this is the first of con con first conference I have here. This is really, for us, it's really honor. For us, really proud to be back, to seeking help and seeking support. Same time asking the promise, our father promised for us to free so that's why I would like to thank you very much. Today, people of West Papua came out on the street from 2nd of April, yesterday, today, this conference supporting people of West Papua, all over West Papua, they're supporting. We are not alone. They are support this conference because 51 years, our elder who fought for freedom and justice for our right to free, especially our Dutch father and Dutch mother, sitting in West Papua around the table, decide and form Nikunia Raj Council in West Papua. Those elders, some of them alive, and some of them already been killed by Indonesia. Myself, I'm a new generation. I don't know what happened at the time, 1961. What happened? What happened in our history? Why do we new generation recover ourselves, our history? What happened to our people? What happened to our elder? What happened to our father? We are trying to find out because in West Papua, we never found in history, even in library, even in the school books, even I went to college, I couldn't find my history, who I am. I never found myself as Papuan. Indonesia told me that you Indonesia, like drama today, you could see. That is the, from the early age, I uh, mentally, I already taught the, by the school that you are Indonesian, you are not Papuan. That I am myself trying to be Indonesian, you know, dress the way Indonesian look. You know, I go to school and I put the clothes red and white. But today I'm proud because my father gave them my flag, my identity, my national symbol, my culture, 1961. That's the beginning of the, my father, they call me, you are Papuan, your country called West Papua. This is your flag. This is your national anthem, Haitanaku Papua. That is the, my father already recognized as the, the Papuan. 
But since Indonesia illegally occupied 1963, then we lost momentum. The root problem is actual free choice. That's Indonesia, America, and my father call actual free choice, but we call act of no choice, including my father who are involved. Kulo Gwenda, maybe you may know, 2003, he came here and gave a testimony. I tried to my, uh, recover myself, who I am at the time. I tried to be Indonesia, but no. Indonesia, they, they look at me as a second class citizen. That's why my father thought he handed over to my stepfather, which is Indonesia. But my stepfather not look after him now. They're killing me, torture me, imprisoning me. That's why I woke up myself, recover myself. I've gone back to the, my father as the promise. That's why I'm today here with you. People of West Papua came out on the street. They waited very long time, last 50 years. They alone. They voice for crying for freedom, justice, like in this room. No one here. Even my father, even my mother, not hear my cry for freedom. But today, the cry for freedom. Now I hand it over to my father. That's why people of West Papua, you could see the people of West Papua came out. The first time they raised the Dutch flag, that's the first time. They're proud to be our father, could hear our fr cry for freedom. That's why you could see they paint their body with the, the morning star flag. If I'm holding this morning star flag in West Papua, 50 years in the prison. Even myself, Indonesia put me in the prison, 2000. Two, after they killed Taishi in 2001, they put me into prison just simply and then peacefully organized Congress, Second Congress in West Papua. Then they put me in prison, charged me 25 years. Then I managed to escape. Jane Robinson is a witness. <coughs> it's my lawyer as well at the same time. She's a witness. Injustice in the court. It's not justice for us. That's why I'm here. Now, after eight years later, Indonesia banned me to travel around the world. Banned me. I never give up until my people are free, then I will give up. And at the, until today, my people are free for freedom, for justice for my people. I never give up. I never give up until my people are free. Second time my people smile, then I will smile, sitting on the table, having the tea with a smile. That is my mission. That's my mission. When I went to the UK and uh, my lawyer told me that, uh, all the lawyers said, you cannot travel to the Netherlands, otherwise they deport you or they will arrest you. I said this, I go into the, my father to seeking help. If my father arrest and put, send back to Indonesia, I am really whole world could see. Father and mother arrest the son, send back to Indonesia and put the second time in the jail. That is whole world could see. Why? That's why I'm here. That's why I never give up until my people will be free. And I need help. My father, my mother stood up and help for my people to be free. I'm not talking too long, but this is the message that I brought my people of West Papua. They want to free. They need their father. They need their mother to hear their cry. They want to free, free from Indonesia. That is the message. They don't want to any kind of offer by Indonesia government. That I want to give some, um, I carry the bone of the people of West Papua who have been killed, elders who are fighting in the jungle, in the city, uh, elders who are um, fight for the justice and freedom for West Papua. They're born, I'm carrying here today with me, 
So I want to give, um, so this is the map, the 1961, I think uh, 1960, uh, then the, this is the symbol of the, our national, our father gave us. This is all the symbol, national anthem. You can see the flag, this is 51 years ago, this flag raised in Bia, 1951. You could see, and uh, this is the old symbol, what the, our father gave us. And this is the Dutch Marines with the morning star flag. And uh, we have a symbol, all the symbol. This is symbol of collections we still we have. And I want to give this to you both. And uh, I, before I give, I want to read the Dutch Prime Minister say the word. 15 of August 1962, the broadcast live. He said this. Look the future which confident in the justice of your case knowing that you will always be in our mind and our our best wishes we accompany you and may god bless save you this word make us one day justice prevail in our case this is the word of the dutch prime minister dr j e de Quay. And I want to give this is the the message and uh, bones of people of West Papua to the our father because this building is decided 51 years ago about West Papua future and now 51 years later come back to bring the same message come back to the father to seeking the justice and freedom for our people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's a message and uh, uh, born of people who have sacrificed their life uh, from 1960 until today still cry for freedom and justice. And then justice never comes from the other country, but from only the father will wipe out the tear of the people of West Papua. Thank you very much. Thank you.